Hey there, it's Lauren. Thank you so much for joining me. I am doing a try on clothing haul today. I placed a rather large order for and other stories as well as one at Madewell, trying to fill some very different holes in my closet, some things for summer, since summer in LA goes all the way to the end of September, as well as some fall things I need for transitioning when I'm going to some places and fancy, casual, etc. In my last haul, I had mentioned uh, a bunch of like dress fails that I had had and seeing if you guys were interested in seeing the fails. So I have a lot of fails to share instead of just showing the winners. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll share that. So maybe that can help you if you were interested in these items or this brand or these brands and whatnot. And um, yeah, uh, I will start with and other stories. I have two winners from and other stories that i'll show right off the bat this one is a really it's really lovely it's quite sheer as i have found all of the white things that i picked up from and other stories are extremely sheer and this is no exception but i really kind of like the sheerness of it it is a a wrap top but it's definitely quite cropped it kind of falls a little bit longer than cropped on me so i'm about 5'1 for a reference so anybody else this would be like definitely more of a crop crop kind of top and it is like a full-on wrap style so it kind of has this like almost kimono-esque-ness to it that i really enjoy and it has actually quite a pretty little like detailing on it uh that i wasn't like didn't actually get to see via the website photos that wasn't completely clear. I have worn this a couple times with high-waisted jeans and I really like the idea of pairing this with skirts, anything kind of high-waisted as well as putting over something like this like a tank top uh, or like any kind of dress or jumpsuit that I want like kind of a nice little cover-up over. So this was a definite win. So the second winner is this kind of Victorian looking long sleeve button up that has like a it's like a mock collar i forgot what this style of collar is as well as it kind of has this slightly exaggerated puffy sleeve really love this kind of like old vintage almost victorian looking thing that's been going on i love me some good vintage pieces and i have some stuff that is kind of reminiscent of this but not exactly this so i have also worn this a couple of times it's really comfortable kind of silky very breezy but i think that this will transition super well into the fall it's something i could layer with as well as it would look really smart underneath jackets just a really good cut that i think will kind of uh, last well for a couple of years so now onto the fails which there is quite quite a few. Their sizing was quite tricky. They had on their website that they were transitioning to US sizes. And so I thought I was safe in ordering zeros and extra smalls and, and you know, along those lines. But all of that stuff is kind of all over the place. Some of the things that I ordered in those sizes are huge. And some of those things are extraordinarily small in places like Madewell, uh, uh, J. Crew, those kind of retailers. I'm generally an extra, extra small or a zero, zero. So I thought, okay, well, if I just like get a zero, I'll be safe. But no, I think I am a two there, a two or a four. So this, I, um, I have two blouses that are actually quite, quite similar to the blouse that I am wearing now. But this is kind of like a staple style of blouse for me this one is one that um i don't think is gonna be a, a reorder uh and it is this really pretty though kind of linen-y feeling crop top it is actually quite sheer so you would have to wear a kind of like nude bra or something underneath there to kind of mask the fact that it is so sheer but it actually feels really nice the quality of it feels really good and it has such beautiful like detailing on the on the straps now this other one actually ended up being so much more beautiful in person i almost took it off my cart but um uh, it ended up being more beautiful in person they didn't show some of the detail on this on the website or at least i didn't clock it it's just this really beautiful silky 
material cami just like a really good staple and i liked this kind of detail here but what i didn't know is that it has all of these leaf embroidery on it just this really beautiful delicate leaf print that really kind of makes it just catch the eye a little bit more now this was way too tight across the chest uh, even without wearing a bra and it is quite sheer so I would definitely wear something like this with I have some nippy covers that are awesome uh, highly recommend them I'll link the ones that I wear down below um, and then I also sometimes I get these ones from Target that are also pretty good but the the nippy cover ones that I got I'd say about a year ago they're reusable and they're pretty great next guy um, as you can see I've been very much into this sort of like white silhouette that's been super popular. I actually uh, brought out some white jeans out of retirement that I got like almost 10 years ago back when I worked at J. Crew in college that looked, I, I don't know why I kept them. I think I had like some like acting character or whatever that wore those and it was like a bit and I saved them in like my costume box. And I had seen so many silhouettes with white lately and white jeans that I actually pulled those out and I was like, oh, like, I actually kind of like the way these fit now. Uh, and I just kind of like cut the hems. It was in my outfits video, which I will link. And I've been wearing a lot of things with that, kind of all white silhouettes. So I actually have a white pair of shorts in here um, and a bunch of other white stuff. Long story short, I've been into that silhouette and one of the things that I was interested in uh, doing is kind of like white pants and a white sweater sweater and like I really enjoyed this puffy knit sweater that I thought would really work well for like kind of cooler summer nights and then awesome transitioning into fall for layering especially you know California fall so I envisioned that and this is just it fits decently it's just a little bit too long for me I definitely need a petite in something like this you know the sleeves are a little bit too long and I think in order for the silhouette of the puffy sweater to look right is the proportions need to be there so if you are like over 5'3 i'd say or 5'4 you probably could pull this off this actually surprisingly this is like almost more like a turtleneck like a half turtleneck it comes up higher than i thought it would really pretty i just don't think it's right for me but i think on the right person it would be absolutely beautiful and then um I've got a million dresses because just went on a dress hunt. I wanted some things that were like elegant and elevated and yeah, so I was looking for that as well as some like throw on kind of dresses that could be like easy casual uh, because my throw on dresses that are easy casual um, are getting very worn from wearing them all the time. So this one, I really like these sort of interesting shapes that these lines across it create. It has this like weird kind of stitched togetherness to it. You know, it's like a t-shirt dress. The collar comes up a little bit higher and I don't mind this shade of brown. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more tan than chocolate via the website pictures. And it's definitely a little bit long for me, but it does have these slits. It is quite a straight line and like a heavier, thicker material. I could see this being like one of those kind of like accidentally super sexy types of dresses. And then the other very like casual type of dress is this, it's like a, not a t-shirt, but it's like a button up, button up shirt, shirt dress. It's just it's a shirt dress. This actually is way more flesh toned than I anticipated. It kind of just looks like my skin, especially it looks like my my leg skin. Uh, so it looks very um, not too flattering on me. I think if you are either like more pale with like red tones, like freckles, uh, or richer in, in skin tone, this could look absolutely beautiful on you. But this is also, oh, I ordered a zero and they sent a size two. Well, that's part of the reason why this looks like a giant bag on me. I think even as a zero, I would need to get something like this hemmed, but I really like the concept of it. And because it is a little bit of like a silky material, it looks a little bit more elevated. I've had dresses like this in the past and I just kind of like wearing it really loose um, or cinching it, 
transitions really well. You can go from wearing it with like sandals and then in, in the winter pairing it with like a pair of boots and it looks super chic, but sadly not a good color for my skin tone. Now these are the two dresses that uh, were purchased in like the hopes for something nice and fancy. For special occasions, I've been wearing like <laughs> this one really beautiful, I love it, green long dress. I've worn it to several special occasions and to several weddings, but it's just been like the only fancy thing that I've been wearing that is just me anymore. I have some fancier things that I think worked more for when I was in my mid 20s uh, and just like really did not do not match 30, 32 year old almost Lauren. So I really wanted this to be a winner. This is a beautiful wrap dress that has these kind of like nice little ruffle details. It has an adjustable strap, which most of their like strap kind of related stuff does have. This, it's such a beautiful color. It is like a waterfall kind of drapey down, longer in the back. Definitely something I would need to get hemmed, but I actually need to size up. It doesn't wrap fully on me. It just kind of gapes a little bit awkwardly, so I would need to size up. So I'm debating on whether trying out a size two in this to see if it works because I love this shade. And I think it's one of those things that if I get it hemmed the right length so it's not too like long in the train, it could be something I could casual down or super dress up and it would be a really good like, oh, fancy dinner tonight or like, oh, we got a wedding. Just no brainer kind of dress. And then this other one is very bold, but I love me a bold floral print something kind of unique and stand outy and this is it's also a wrap dress but it has a bit of like kimono style sleeves that like slightly flute and it's just like this most beautiful like california poppy print it's so beautiful it's not lined which is the only thing that's kind of annoying so when something like this kind of flows you see you see the unlined part. I think if it had like a contrasting print on the inside or something else that would be a lot prettier. But again, it has that kind of really long kind of train. It doesn't waterfall like the other one, but it's very long. So if you are a super tall person and looking for dresses and other stories will probably be a great place for you because they make things super long, which you know, it's not like too much of a trouble to get something hemmed. And if it's something worthwhile, it's worth it. So again, I don't know. I don't know if this is just like potentially too overwhelming for me. Uh, unfortunately, I love bolder prints, but oftentimes they just like drown me. But very beautiful. Um, yeah, I hope somebody out there has this and it's perfect on them and I see them in it sometime because it's just so gosh darn pretty. Whew. Okay, one last thing from and other stories um, is a pair of, they're not jeans, they're just, they're trousers and they're wide leg and they're yellow, they're mustard color and they're just like everything I love. I love yellow, I love mustard and I love wide leg and I love high waisted and these are, uh, like they said, no stretch um, and very, very tiny. So these are a size zero. I think I would need like a four if not more. I could not get these above my thighs. Just, they're really nice material. I think these would hold up well. And I think they would actually fade well if they were to like fade in the, in the wash or anything. Okay, so onto the Madewell stuff. I don't know if any of you have been on the Madewell website recently, but they changed their website and it is not fun to use. It is just not, not a really like intuitive to use. The new arrivals are all jumbled, so if you've been on there recently and you've noticed the change, I, I'd be curious how how uh, you like it. Um, I sure don't. Anyways, um, I got like a an email, like a sneak peek email of their fall launches because uh, I shop at Maybell quite a bit. And uh, yeah, so they sent that to me and I got really excited, purchased a whole bunch of stuff, and uh, then they canceled pretty much 
percent of the things that I ordered so that was that was kind of annoying but that seems to be a glitch with the new website anyway some of the things came um, and they don't really work for me one of the things though is a summer related thing that I'm pretty sure I'm keeping uh, and it is a pair of white shorts they are a higher waisted white short, but they're not too short. These kind of fall a nice length and they seem to be like kind of slightly tapered a little bit to like cover a little bit more. What size did I get? I got a 23. Normally I'm a 24 or a 25 in Madewell, but the last year uh, they're high waisted stuff. They're more high waisted stuff. I've been a 23. I think just because of proportions or maybe they're like uh their sizing has changed but i'm generally a 23 24 recently i used to be a 25 there i like madewell jeans madewell shorts i have a million pairs from over the years i have a lot of madewell a lot of madewell blouses um speaking of madewell blouses this is a shirt that unfortunately doesn't work for me as part of the fall launches and the way that it was styled i really loved the embroidery on it is though it's like super cute sucker for embroidery sucker for flowers love most of the madewell blouses that i try and purchase but this one just wasn't quite right for me and then uh this guy um i like a good kind of uh sweater tank um, kind of shell. I have a few from over the years from various retailers that just kind of like worn down because they're like a good staple. Again, if it's not like too hot, you can wear it with shorts, wear it in the summer, or you can also wear it all year long. Really pretty. I liked the cut of the sleeve on it. Nice quality, nice knit, cute, chic, kind of timeless. Pair it with a million different things. And then uh, I have a couple pairs of shoes. Um, I got a pair of slides. These guys um, I think are awesome. They're like a woven style slide. The slingbacks that I had in my last haul, I have already worn so much. I have a habit of like getting a pair of shoes and that's like the only shoe I pretty much wear. And then, um, then the shoe dies in a few months because I'm literally wearing it and not treating it so well. So uh, I hoped this would kind of like help um, be like, a thing that I could circle in. And then I have several boots from Madewell from over the years and some like mules. I'm even wearing a pair of mules from them today. And I find their heel and the way the arch is on Madewell heels to be quite comfortable. So, uh, or at least like on boots. So I don't have like a, a good kind of everyday like casual heel that I could dress up or dress down that isn't like a sandal. So I wanted something that was closed toed and this was part of the, the fall line. It's like this red, dready orange, suede heel. It's not too high of a heel and it's quite comfortable. I love this color. I have like several colors of lip that match this. So that could be like a, a fun little like monochrome kind of creation, but really comfy and super pretty yeah this will be really fun to to style and wear and not too bad of a price especially if you get it during like some kind of promotion their shoes are like moderate prices in terms of like prices of places you know zara h&m payless are definitely you know always going to be more reasonably priced but compared to something that you would get at a lot of other retailers it's not bad Alrighty, I know this was a lot of stuff, mainly fails, but hopefully this was helpful in the scope of stuff. And uh, you enjoyed, you enjoyed looking through the stuff that I purchased. Uh, I might have another one of these coming soon since there was a lot of fails. So um, if you like this kind of stuff from me, subscribe and, and like it. And uh, let me know if any of these things uh, that you like. I guess, um, and um, are your kind of jam, and if this was helpful in any way. All right, I'm just rambling towards this outro. I hope you're having a really good one wherever you guys are, and I'll see ya. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.